All right, so we've got to divide x minus 3 divided by x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6, right? So remember, in long division of polynomials, we divide, first step is we divide, we multiply, then we subtract, right? Divide, multiply, and subtract. So, we start, we're going to divide. So what are we going to divide? The leading term in the polynomial, okay? And what is our leading term? It's x cubed, okay? This is our leading term. So we're always going to be dividing the leading term by the x variable here. So we say x cubed divided by x, that gives us x squared, All right? So we'll put here x squared. Step two, we multiply, okay? x squared times x, that is x cubed. x squared minus times negative three, get negative three x squared. All right? So we've multiplied, now we finally we subtract. x cubed minus x cubed, that gives us zero. Negative two minus negative three, all right? So this negative, this negative and negative make positive. So we have negative two plus three, that will give us x, uh, that will give us one. Okay, so that's we'll write it as x squared here. Negative two minus negative three x squared gives us x squared, all right? Negative five x minus zero, that gives us negative five x, and six minus zero is zero. So we'll write it down like this. So again, we'll repeat the process, divide, all right? So what I'm going to divide, the leading, term which is x squared here all right so we'll say x squared oops 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 so x squared divided by x and we're going to get x right so we we'll write plus x right so we divided step two multiply x times x that is x squared x times negative three that gives us negative three x right so we have multiplied step three we subtract all right x squared minus x squared it goes negative 5 minus negative 5 x minus negative 3 x that's the same as saying negative 5 x plus 3 x and we're going to get negative 2 x we'll get negative negative 2x 6 minus 0 gets 6 so say negative 2x plus 6 right so we repeat the process again divide right the leading term okay so here we've got negative 2x all right so say negative 2x divided by x right that would give us negative 2 all right so we put here negative minus 2 negative 2 times x that gives us negative 2x negative 2 times negative 3 that gives us this. All right negative 2x minus negative 2x these negatives become positive so it's like negative 2x plus 2x, we get 0. 
6 minus 6 will get 0. Right? So the other factor is x squared plus x minus 2. Right? Now, um, if we are taught to factorize this polynomial, which here is x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6, if we are taught to factorize it, then we would have to check if we can factorize this uh, quadratic uh, equation on top here, if we can factorize it further, all right? So let's check if we can factorize it further, all right? We we'll use the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, all right? If it's greater than zero, we can factorize. Less than zero, we cannot factorize. So the b squared minus 4s, 4a times 4ac, b squared minus 4ac, all right? So let's look at the expression here. We have x squared plus x minus 2. We're going to write the standard form of a quadratic equation, all right? The standard form of a quadratic equation is a x squared plus bx plus c. So let's determine our a, b, and c. So remember, a is the coefficient of x squared. What is our coefficient of x squared here? It is 1, all right? b is the coefficient of x. What is our coefficient here? 1. c is our constant. Our constant is negative 2, all right? So let's see if we can factorize this. Let's put it into the discriminant here. So b squared, we say that is 1 squared. minus 4, right, our a is 1, and our c is negative 2, all right? So that's the same as saying 1, all right? Then we'll say negative 4 times negative 2, that's positive 8. So we'll say 1 plus 8, that is 9, right? So let me just make space here. 1 plus 8, all right? That is 9, right? Say 1, right? Then we say negative 4 times negative 2. That's positive 8, all right? 1 plus 8, that is 9. And since 9 is greater than 0, all right? Since it's greater than 0, so we can factorize this one further, all right? We can factorize it further. So we have our expression here, all right? Let's remember when factorizing quadratic expressions, the first step again is you're going to say, let me just make some space here for that separate one. All right, so we say x squared plus x minus 2, right? So whenever you're factorizing quadratic equations, remember step 1 always, you're going to multiply a times c, right? Step 1, always multiply a times c. What is our a? 1. What is our c? Negative 2. So 1 times negative 2, that gives us negative 2, right? Then step B, we're going to look for two numbers that when you multiply them, all right? When you multiply them, they give you negative 2. And when you add them, they're going to give you positive 1, all right? Two numbers. When you multiply them, they give you negative 2. When you add them, they give you 1, all right? When you add them, they have to be able to give you our what B equals, all right? So, we look at this negative 2 here, we say negative 2 here. What are the factors of 2? Right, we have 1 and 2, right? So this is now where we can play around, right? So let's try negative 1 and 2, right? 
negative 1 times 2 that gives you negative 2 all right then negative 1 plus 2 that gives you positive 1 all right so this it satisfies the criteria so we're going to say factorize like this x minus 2 then x plus 1 so now we have simplified this quadratic expression here our answer is going to be x minus 3 x minus 2 and x plus 1. Okay, so we've, we've completely factorized this polynomial here.